Thousands of anti-cull protesters gather in Perth. Just a kilometre or so out to sea, bait has been laid to catch and kill sharks over three metres long. The cull may be local, but the campaign is growing. In Melbourne, they took to the streets. Demonstrations, too, in Adelaide. And in Sydney, critics of the cull showed their support. We are surfers, we are divers, we walk the beach, we love the beach, we love the ocean, we know the risks. Leave the sharks alone! Solutions exist around the world. The WA government knows of them and has chosen to ignore them for a quick political fix that will have no way of working. This was the first shark to be caught in the cull off Western Australia. After being hooked, it's shot. Four times at close range. It's then towed out to sea, gutted and dumped. Other harmless sharks have also been caught on the hooks. I think it's very sad that uh, a country like Australia is setting such a bad example to the rest of the world. Richard Branson is the latest high-profile figure to condemn the policy. Last year, uh, Australia was praised all over the world for creating the biggest marine reserve around Australia. And this year, um, the world is looking, um, you know, looking at Australia and, um, and, and, and particularly Western Australia and wondering what on earth is going on. Others, like comedian Ricky Gervais, diver Tom Daly, and swimmer Rebecca Adlington have added their voices to the anti-cull campaign. As well as removing some bait from hooks, protesters have also vandalised government buildings. But the state's premier says he has to do something. We've got the reality of seven fatalities in three years when we've only had 20 in the last 100 years. <laughs> Western Australia is the world's deadliest place for shark attacks. But these protesters argue there's no evidence culls make a difference. And after all, it's us who decide to swim in their territory. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Sydney.